ladies and gentlemen, once again, good evening and welcome to the LFT Johnson Arena and the 16th Region Boys Basketball Tournament. In tonight's second semifinal, the winners of the 61st District, the Vikings of Rowan County Senior High School, meet the runners up from the 64th District, the Lions of Boyd County High School. Let's meet the starting lineups first for the visiting team, Rowan County. For the Vikings, starting at guard, a 5'10 senior, number five, Dylan Maxey. At guard, a 6'5 senior, number 20, Mason Moore. At guard, a 6'3 senior, number 21, Nathan Goodpaster. At forward, a 6'7 junior, number 24, Robert Todd. And at forward, a 6'5 junior, number 15, Chase Alderman. Rowan County has a record of 14 wins and three losses. The Vikings were coached by Sean Thacker, assisted by Andrew Fahiri, Jordan Mann, Johnny Leap III, and Gabe Brown. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the home team on the scoreboard, Boyd County. For the Lions, starting at guard, a 6'3 senior, number two, Carson Webb. At guard, a six-foot senior, number 10, Brad Newsom. At guard, a 6'1 junior, number 13, Rafe DeBoard. At forward, a 6'4 senior, number one, Dawson Mead. And at forward, a 6'5 senior, number 15, Austin Gibbs. Boyd County has a record of 15 wins and nine losses. The Lions were coached by Randy Anderson, assisted by Drew Jones, Joey Gilbert, and Daniel Meek. The officials assigned to this evening's second game, Brian Johnson, Brian Napier, and Mike Melton. First quarter is brought to you by Southern Ohio Medical Center. Good things are happening at SOMC. And now it's time for the tip-off brought to you by River City's Builders, proud supporters of high school athletics and academics. Boyd County will open up with a basketball working left to right in the white jerseys tonight. Off we go. Quarter number one here in the region semifinals. Winner moves on to Saturday's championship game. Here's Gibbs. High post right side spins. Brings it back out to Carson Webb. Webb will take it right of point. A heavy pressure there being applied by Nathan Goodpaster. DeBorg over next to... Sean Thacker in the Round County bench. Goes high post there. He'll take it out to the corner. That's to Dawson Mead. First time we've seen a student section assemble here at LST. And Rowan County students coming out in groves. Five rows of students that I count shoulder to shoulder standing in this end zone. Get the foul on Good Pastor, his first team's first. Meanwhile, on the Boyd County student section, 13. Here's Gibbs, works out of the lane, cut off by Todd, brings it into DeBorg, a floater in the lane's good. Nice take there by Reese DeBorg. Boyd County's up 2-0 early on. Mason Moore brings it front court, brings it off to Maxey, left side, a bounce pass into the corner. That's out to Chase Alderman. Alderman lobs it back door, Todd. Todd goes up and under, has it blocked away, fighting for the rebound, it's tipped out of bounds. Who gets it? He'll stay with Rowan County in a very unique jersey combination tonight. The... Gold tops with the green lettering and numbers, and then it almost looks like it's blue and navy, or navy blue, excuse me, and gold as Moore stops in the lane, and they're going to get him for a travel. But it's a pinstripe-looking short, and, okay, now I finally got a close-up of it. It is the the green and the navy, or the green and the gold, excuse me, but you put those two together, it looks like navy. Boy County leading 2 nothing. Bring it off to Carson Webb. Webb in the corner. Throws it high post, Gibbs. Gibbs reverses it off to DeBorg. DeBorg comes from the left to the right, slows it down, backs it out, leading to nothing. He wants to go to work, goes down to the center of the lane, kicks it into the corner. That's off to Webb. Webb cut off on the baseline, tries to throw it in, and it's stolen away by Mason Moore. He's got a man out in front. He'll angle right, go right to the rack, and he's fouled. 
Dawson Mead got him on the way to the rack. He wasn't giving that one up. He had two points or free throws on his mind, and he'll step to the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for a chance to tie this game at two. Moore, 75.5% free throw shooter, had 19 points, six rebounds in the win over Elliott County. In a very odd basketball game, they trailed 28-18 at the half. They outscored Elliott County 36-9 in the second half. And at one point, it was an 18-1 run in the fourth quarter. Second free throw for Moore is up and good. We're tied at two. Brown Kenny jumps out in a little 2-2-1 pressure now. DeBorg brings it near sideline, kicks it off to Newsom. Newsom back to DeBorg. DeBorg front court. 6.20 to go first quarter. All tied at two here in the second region semifinal for the boys. Newsom feeds it off to Webb. Webb takes it back now to the high post inside Gibbs. Gibbs in traffic. Shot up, won't go. Fighting for the rebound underneath is Chase Alderman and a whistle and a foul against Boyd County. Yeah, they might get Gibbs on the over and back on the rebound. Second team foul on Boyd County. Brown County with the basketball. Front court comes Mason Moore. They do get the foul on Gibbs. Moore reverses it back to Maxey. Here's Todd straight away. Puts it on the deck. Attacks Gibbs. Comes right elbow. Spins left. Fade away jumper. No. Off the back of the box. Rebound claimed by Meade. DeBorg front court. Tied at two. Crosses over. Comes right. Step back. And a cup. Put a cup and a handle on it and carry it home with you. Turnover number two on the Lions. Back to the Vikings. And for the first time this week, all the way through, it finally sounds a little bit like Moorhead. Yep. Biggest student section we've seen this week. Here's Boys Newsom. and girls. Newsom takes it away, stops right side, fires up a shot, no good, but he's fouled. They'll get that one on Mason Moore. That's his first team second. And to the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line is the senior Brad Newsom, 64.6% free throw shooter. Four points in the win over Lewis County. First one is up is good. Boyd County's back in front, 3-2. to two. Sean Thacker having a quick word with one of the officials on the far sideline. The officials signed to the 16th region are out of the 14th region. Second one is up is good. That's south of Pikeville down toward Hazard in that area. 4-2, to two. Boyd County in front of Rowan. Here comes the double team, and Boyd County just blitzed the ball. Maxey tracks it down. Now he's got numbers, kicks it ahead. Todd has it right in between the rings. They'll go to the corner. Three ball, good pasture on the way. Money. Nathan, good pasture, connects on the Clark's pump and shop. Three ball. Rowan County's in front, 5-4. to four. Back in a 2-2-1 zone press. DeBoard breaks it, comes near sideline. Looks at the double team, going right at... To, at good pasture and DeBorg steps out of bounds. Back to back turnovers on the Lions. JC gives it back to the Vikings. Both of these teams look like they've settled in much better than they did in their first round games. Boyd County was in a, a slugfest with Lewis County. Rowan County had to basically come all the way back from the pits of the, if the defeat down 10 at the half to Elliott County. That was a David versus Goliath battle. Here's Moore. Works left, works right, and then gets called for a five-second violation. Brad Newsom ties him up. Third turnover of the basketball game for the Vikings. Three each way. DeBorg kicks it off near side. Webb. Webb brings it front court, tries to feed it ahead, and it's stolen away. Brown County with a basketball. Moore. Takes it from the far sideline, loses his dribble off to Todd in between the rings. Here's Maxey, reverses back to Moore, four and a half to go. Maxey wants the three on the way to Stiff. Long rebound comes out to DeBorg on the elbow. He'll walk it into the front court. On the big Eagle logo here at Johnson, T Johnson Arena, home of the Moorhead State Eagles. Carson Webb puts it on the deck right at the OVC logo. Feeds it off. Gibbs into the corner. That's off to Dawson Mead. Now DeBoer gets it, resets inside of four to go. Here in the first quarter, Round County in front, 5-4. Boyd County being very patient 
executing its offense. DeBorg works off a screen, gives it off to Webb. Webb spot up three off the mark, no good. Rebound and a foul. Maxi and Newsom going for it. And they're going to get that one on Brad Newsom, his first team foul number three. Going for the loose ball. Jordan Justice checking in for Dylan Maxi, a Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. Justice was served in the win over Elliott County. He came off the bench, splashed home 14-12 in the fourth quarter, including a big three from the corner to put his team ahead for good. He was the difference maker in that one. They lead it 5-4. Here's Justice out of the left corner. Feeds it off now to Alderman. Alderman takes it to the right side, wants to go to Todd. He'll do a little up and under scoop shot with a left hand and flex. Alderman with the bucket. Brown County nursing its largest lead of the night. It's out to 3-7 to 4. 3-17 to go here in the first. DeBorg off to Newsom. Left side, right back to DeBorg. Brown County showing a little extended 2-3 zone. DeBorg, right elbow, pull up jumper, no. Fighting four underneath. Gibbs had it, tipped it back into the fingers of Moore. Moore spins it out, looks it off left side. Goodpasture, three in transition, got it! Nathan Goodpasture, second, Clark's pump and shot triple. Brown County's in front, 10 to 4. Here's Newsom, left side. DeBorg in between the rings. Still a 2-3 zone being applied by the Vikings. Newsom left side back to DeBorg. DeBorg catches at the hip, goes to Newsom on the left wing. Newsom attacks, left elbow, 15-foot pull-up jumper, no. Oh, he missed, missed that, that one badly. Bad. Yep. Alderman with the rebound, they kick it ahead. Good pasture on the wing. Feeds it back out to Mason Moore, 2-12 to go in the first quarter. Moore curls it off to the right, stops, reverses it. Justice around the horn it goes into the hands of Alderman. Alderman Luke loses his dribble, feeds it off to good pasture, left side gets it back. They'll feed it into Moore. Moore out near the midcourt stripe. Newsom all over him, works off a screen, fit, flips it back out to Alderman. Inside of two to go in the first. Rowan County leads this one by six, currently on an 8-0 run. Left corner, top of the key. Alderman pumps, drives. Cut off on a double team. They'll go out to Todd for a three ball way off the mark. Rebound pulled out by DeBoer. He wants to run. He'll take it down the center of the lane. Look left, trying to go down to Mead. Mead found it off the tip ball. Back to DeBoer. Newsom, high post Gibbs. Gibbs in the lane. Blocked away. Robert Todd said not in my house in his favorite Dikembe Mutombo voice. Rowan County holding Boyd County scoreless now for over four minutes. Moore spins front midcourt. Brings it off, left side, a three ball on the way, no. Big time miss there by Alderman as it missed everything. 60 seconds to go in the first quarter. Rowan County in front, 10 to four. We still got a media timeout to get to if we get a stoppage in play. DeBorg, off to Webb, high post, Newsom. Newsom on the deck, puts it up. Shot is no good, but uh, that will take us to our media timeout. With 49 seconds to go in the first and around County in front, 10 to 4. Back for more after this on the Schoolboy, My Town TV Sports. Big shout out to our good buddy Andy Zabriziak. Got us tuned in tonight. Coach watching Z. Coach Z, a good buddy. He's about ready to get some Boy County or some Green County baseball going as uh, Musketeers and as well as all the teams around the area. Opening day coming up Monday. Yeah. All the teams <laughs> playing scrimmage games over the last couple of days and it's nice to see high school baseball yeah. after all those kids, baseball, softball, both missing their seasons last year. So great to see those kids and talking with several of the kids in the hallway this couple, last couple of days, and you can see the excitement on their fe- on their face just to be back on the, fe- on the field. Out of the timeout, J.B. Walter checks in, a Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. He's got it on the right wing. Webb back to Walter. Walter looking underneath. Also coming into the ballgame is Jason Ellis. DeBoard pulls the trigger. Three balls on the way. No. Rebound, Justice. It's a five-minute scoring drought for Boyd County. An 8-0 run for Rowan County. But the Vikings have missed their last six field goals. Here's Moore off to Todd between the rings. He'll get it back. 17 seconds to go in the first. Chance to add to the six-point lead. Moore sizing up Webb. Attacks, running jumpers up. Good. Strong take there by Mason Moore. His fourth point of the ball game leads out to eight. DeBorg's got two, long three, runner won't go, and it takes us to the end of one. Rowan County leads it 12-4, to 
Back for more after this on the Schoolboy My Town TV Sports Network. Second quarter here at LST as we welcome you back to the Pepsi broadcast table. Rowan County in front of Boyd County, 12 to 4. James Collier, Kent Robinson, happy to have you along with us here. As Mason Moore goes to work with an eight-point lead. Into the basketball game, Cody Collins, a Stultz Pharmacy substitute, seeing his first action here tonight. He's joined with Justice, also Bradley Gardner coming into the contest. Alderman stays on with Moore as the only two starters remaining on the floor. Here's Gardner off to the left side. Alderman wants it on the post. He gets it working on Ellis. He backs it in, puts up a jumper on the baseline. No. Rebound pulled out by Graydon McNeil. He checks in for his first action. Carson Webbs. Off to Newsom. Newsom left of point. Webb, left wing. Goes baseline. Dribble drive by Boyd County's Jason Ellis. And Mason Moore says, not in my house, as the student section, yeah. highly assembled student section from Rowan County applauds. Uh, quite a few over there. Quite a few. They've got a row of <clears throat> bleachers in between each of them. Here's a three ball for McNeil out of the right corner. No good. Mason Moore with another rebound for Rowan County. Leading 12 to four. Boyd County's got scoreless now for over six minutes. Moore works off to the right side, feeds it off to Alderman. Alderman stops left block, puts it on the left hand, up off the window, too strong. Rebound and collected in the restricted space by J.B. Walter. Boyd County needs a bucket in the worst way. Webb front court, off to Walter. Walter on the OVC logo, into the keyhole, goes to McNeil, who put it on the deck one time, wants to go underneath, cut off. Webb straight away, three ball on the way, front iron short, into the hands Bradley Gardner near the free throw line. Six and a half to go in the half. Moore attacks, stops off the left side, step back three on the way, no. Missed it off the right side, rebound, and a foul. As they'll get the bump from Chase Alderman from behind, his first team's third. And here comes the starting five back on the floor. Good pasture, Todd and Maxia, Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. <coughs> And now they'll jump back in that 2-2-1 two, two, zone pressure. Walter takes it near sideline, reverses it off to Webb. Webb centers it up. Now to the right side he goes. Looks off to Ellis. Ellis stops in the lane, feeds it back to Webb. Straight away three on the way, way short. Rebound comes off into the hands of Mason Moore. Moore hounded there by Newsom. Comes front court, hands all over him. No whistle, we play on. Bounce pass. Off to the right side. Here's Maxi. Feeds it off to Alderman. They'll bring it off to Moore. Moore from the corner. Three ball. Got it. Clark's pump and shot. Three ball. Mason Moore puts it out to 11. It's 15 to 4. Lob pass. Ellis across the midcourt stripe. Webb to Newsom. Left side right next to Sean Thacker. Coach Thacker, a 15 and 10 record here in the regional tournament. He's definitely got to be liking what he's seeing right now in the first half. Here's Ellis off the left side. No. Rebound punched up in the air and comes back into the hands of Dylan Maxey. Boyd County shooting a dismal 1 of 13 currently. 8% from the field. Mason Moore works off a screen by Alderman. Knifing his way through. Backside Alderman puts up a shot. It's no good, but he's fouled. What a dime from Mason Moore. And Alderman will step to the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line with a chance to add this 11-point lead. Look at the foul on J.B. Walter, his first team's fourth. Chase Alderman, 74.1% free throw shooter to the line. This one's too stiff. One more. Three subs coming on for Boyd County. Coach Anderson James has to find somebody on that bench over there in that white jersey to try to get some points in that hoop on the other end of the floor. It might be a long night for the team in that white jersey. DeBorg, Gibbs, and Austin Cumpton checking in for his first time tonight. Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. Second free throw for Alderman is good. It's out to 12, 16 to 4. Gibbs got himself stuck in between the midcourt stripe. Couldn't reverse it back. Maxi tries to come in from behind and take it away from DeBorg. And they're going to call him on the bump. His first team's fourth. Coach Randy Anderson's going to take a timeout. Let's see if it's a 30 or a full 30-second timeout requested by Boyd County. 
Well, the next time you visit Lexington for work, play, or ball games, plan your stay at the Homewood Suites, Lexington Hamburg. It's conveniently located off I-75 in the Hamburg Pavilion. The Salt Suites property, they offer amenities that really can't be beat. they got a breakfast buffet, fitness facility, guest laundry, courtyard with a fire pit and a pool, and even better, free dinner. If you don't, you get there and you're a little tired, don't want to go anywhere, no problem. They've got free dinner for you downstairs Monday through Thursday nights. All the suites, fully equipped kitchens, high-speed Wi-Fi, and just a big place to spread out in, watch TV or whatever. 859-543-0464 for reservations. Or you can go to LexingtonHamburg.HomewoodSuites.com. Make your home away from home in Lexington. That would be the Homewood Suites by Hilton over at Hamburg. 4.58 to go here in the first half. It's all Rowan County. They lead this one. They're on a 16-0 run currently. There's a ball tipped out of bounds on the near sideline. Who touched it last? They'll say it was raked out of bounds by Chase Alderman. DeBorg brings it into Compton at the Newsom near the midcourt stripe right side. He'll take it to the far sideline, now centers it up. 2-3 zone, very high 2-3 zone being applied by Rowan County. Newsom in the restricted area, just above the restricted area before he tries to slam on the brakes and back foot drags through. And another turnover for Boyd County. That's number five in the basketball game. They just can't get in sync, can they? There's nothing working for Boyd County. Well, that 2 3 zone is really, half. really frustrating. That was something that uh, Coach A talked about today. He said they play it a lot like Syracuse. They're so long, it's like they've got six guys on. Here's Maxi, catch and shoot three, left corner pocket. Got it. Dylan Maxi knocks home the Clark's Pump and Shop triple. 19 to 4, Rowan County. DeBorg. Newsom, left side, surveying. Looks underneath, bounce pass off to Compton, or Brooke Gibbs, excuse me. They'll go to Compton. Compton pumps out of the left corner into the lane, walked, but gets the friendly roll to go home as Austin Compton drops in his first points of the contest, and that erases a very long scoring drought for Boyd County. They're down now 19-6. 7-2 run by the Vikings here in the second quarter. Here's Todd. Dribbles it out, gives it out to Mason Moore. Newsom all over him. Inside of three and a half to go. Moore crosses over, reverses back. Maxi left side, dribbles out of the pressure. Todd straight away, three ball, no. And then a rebound and a foul underneath. Alderman had the rebound, but he gets the push before he pulls it down. They'll get that one on Graydon McNeil. That's his first team's sixth. Vikings basketball underneath their own bucket. Moore, left wing, very deep. Austin Compton will stay with him. Looks like Boyd County's now going to go into a 2-3 zone of their own. And now it looks like, okay, now they've dropped back into a little bit of a man. Here's Maxi all alone. High post, Todd. Todd surveys, left or right side, excuse me, around the horn it comes. Back to Maxi on the left side. Looks at a double team, one dribble. Spins, high post, Todd, left side. He's got more available if he needs him. He's going to the rack off the window. Good. Robert Todd, a Kentucky Farmer's bank shot as he kisses the glass. His first points makes it 21 to 6. Compton, far sideline, Moore hounding him. Tries to step through the defensive pressure. It's raked out of his hands, but into Grady McNeil. McNeil feeds it in backside to Compton. He was bothered by the side of Todd. Loose ball, a tie up, a scrum, and a scuffle. They'll sort it out. The jump ball, alternating possession, keeps it with Boyd County. And that'll take us to our media timeout for the second quarter. 2.35 to go in the half. 21 to 6. Rowan County in front. Back for more after this on the schoolboy. Back at the Pepsi broadcast table. High atop Johnson Arena. Where it's hotter than the July summers in the equator. Rowan County is just as hot. 21 to 6. They lead Boyd County. 2.35 to go in the half. James Carter, Kent Robinson. Happy to have you along with us here tonight. Halftime show coming up. Powered by Game Changer and Dickie Tiller and Coach Hager Easterling. will be in there to take it away. And break everything down from the first half. And Rowan County forces another turnover. That's number six by the Lions. And it has been, right now, Boyd County's worst nightmare that they've had here in the first half of basketball. Two of 15 from the field, 13%. 
Here's Alderman, launches it back door Gardner. Gardner reverses back to Moore. Moore from the left wing, curls, stops the left elbow, 15 footer, good. Nice take there by Mason Moore. He has nine in the basketball game, 17 point lead for the Vikings. Newsom goes left, stops, and a foul before he gets it away. I believe they got it on Alderman. Nope, Jordan Justice. His first team sixth. So next foul against Rowan County will have Boyd shooting the bonus. Two minutes and three seconds to play in the half. Boyd County searching. Ball goes back out to Newsom near the midcourt stripe. Here's Compton, right wing, working on Alderman. Tries to curl underneath, brings it off to Ellis. Ellis backs himself in. That one's hammered down hard. But Robert Todd, I believe, got him on the way up. Now they'll say it's, it was Alderman. They both were there. So his second team, seventh. And Jason Ellis to the Bluegrass Federal Union credit line for two. First one front iron short. Substitute coming in for Rowan County as Cody Collins returns. In for Boyd County is Dawson Mead, Stoltz Pharmacy substitutes. 23 to 6, a minute 54 to play in the half. One more for Ellis. Free throw up, two stiff this time. Todd skies for the rebound on the block. Newsom will stay with Moore as he crosses him over, tries to take him to work. Newsom nearly picked it off. A little bit of a push off there by Mason Moore. We play on. Moore spins down the center of the lane, kicks it out to the left side. Gardner thought about pulling up for the three. Knifes his way through. Takes it off Justice, right side. Here's Moore. As DeBorg and Gardner going at each other underneath, Moore pulls a long-range jumper. Shot is up, no good. Coming in and skying for the rebound was Cody Collins, but a whistle and a foul. Did he call a double foul? Uh, that's, it may have, because there was all kinds of things going on underneath. Let's check in with our officiating crew. Yeah, we've got a double foul. They're going to get the foul on Race DeBorg. So that's DeBorg's first, team's seventh. And... They get the other foul on Bradley Gardner, his first team's eighth. And then the alternating possession arrow keeps it with Rowan County. So it treats just like a jump ball is what it plays out as. Cody Collins with the basketball, minute 24 to go before the half, 17-point lead. Looking to inbound, far sideline. Brings it underneath, Moore looks at a double team. Out to Justice, spot up three on the way, way too stiff. Ball tipped around, loose underneath, Gibbs. Curls it up inside the restricted area. Cole Hicks coming on for Boyd County, a Stoltz Pharmacy substitute, his first action of the night. Here's Webb, high post Gibbs working on Todd. Puts up a high-range jumper, no good. Ball tipped off and out of bounds. They said Mason Moore touched it last. And it'll stay with Boyd County. After that double foul, Coach Thacker got Gardner out. Kind of calm him down a little bit with the Rowan County's big lead to 23 to 6. Alderman and Maxie also on the deck on the far sideline. Here's Newsom. Left wing attacks. Drops it underneath. Gibbs. Gibbs tries to muscle his way up. Puts up the shot off the mark. No good. Mason Moore with a rebound and a foul. And you can tell Rowan County's size underneath is really affecting Boyd County's stature around the basket. They'll get the foul on Carson Webb, his first team's eighth. And. We're going to go to the other end and shoot one of the bonus. 51 seconds on a rested clock here in the second stanza. Rowan County in front by 17. Stoltz Pharmacy substitute coming on for Rowan County. Free throw up is good by Mason Moore. One more. Moore with 10, the first player in double figures in the basketball game. One more. Make it 11. More importantly, an 18-point, or check that, a 19-point lead now. Largest of the basketball game, 25-6. to six. Boyd County has scored two points in this quarter, and that's after scoring only four 
in the ball game in the first quarter of play. Newsom works it off to the right side to Webb. Webb goes dribble drive, cut off underneath. Body foul there, nothing goes, and Webb just throws it up and in. Breaks a three-plus minute scoring drought and a 6-0 scoring run by Rowan County. Mason Moore draws the contact and a foul on Boyd County as I believe Graydon Mc, or check that, that's going to be Dawson Mead. That's his second. Team foul number eight. And Mason Moore back to the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for one of the bonus. He's been perfect there all night. Already 11 points for the senior headed to UK to play a little baseball. One more, 12 points. 20. They've got the scoreboard right now. They finally got it right, 26 to 8. I was right a moment ago when I said the, the deficit, and I looked up at the scoreboard, and that's what I get for looking at the scoreboard. We know they're never right. <laughs> no, it's good. 27 to 8, 24 seconds to go here in the half. Boy County needs a bucket going to the locker room in the worst way. Webb brings it off to Meade. Meade right side, 14 seconds, 2-3 zone by the Lion or by the Vikings, excuse me. Lions trying to press, brings it off to Gibbs, right wing. Gibbs goes to work, goes dribble drive baseline, double team, puts up a floater on the baseline and gets it home. Nice take there by Austin Gibbs, his first bucket, and that takes us to the half. Rowan County leads it 27 to 10. Back at the Pepsi broadcast table, 27 to 10. Rowan County putting it on Boyd County. And again, as we brought this up at the beginning of the broadcast, Kent Robinson, you've got two teams that this is their 10th meeting in the semis. Rowan County has never beaten Boyd County. No. And you look at their overall records, Rowan County in the semifinals, 8 of 16. Now, of those eight times they've advanced into the championship, they've got six championships. On the other side for Boyd County, very efficient here in the semifinals, 19 of and 8. They've advanced on to win 11 titles in this being their 88th game here at Moorhead. And right now, they've got a lot of work to do down 17. Well, Round County shooting 8 of 19 in the first half, 42.1%. And the big bugaboo, you know, it was right there on the screen a few minutes ago, 4 of 19 for Boyd County, 21.1%. I know you know Boyd County is a better shooting team than that, but in the first half, They've not showed up at all. 32% from three-point land are the Lions coming into this game 0 for 6, shooting at a clip of 44% on the season, averaging 63 points a game. That's about 53 to go to try to hit that. And it, it's been – Coach Anderson talked to me about this today, and he said that they were really expecting to see that extended 2-3 zone. He said it puts him in so much of mind of what Syracuse does and Jim Beheim. On the other side of things, talking to Coach Sean Thacker yesterday, he said, I'm going back to watch that Elliott County game. i got to figure out why we were so bad in the first half. Yeah. Looks like they've maybe found an answer. Uh, they've been they, pretty solid. Uh, Mason Moore. I think they have. 13 to lead the way. Off we go. And they started off with Moore going to the rack. Right side, good. Quick hitter there. Mason Moore with 15, and the lead's 19 once again. Brown County jumps out in that 2-2-1 zone pressure, falls back into the 2-3. High post, Gibbs, right side, working from a right to left. Ball stolen away as Nathan Goodpasture gets the steal, and then Dawson Mead reaches in and is whistled for the foul. His third, team's first of the half. Boy, Kenny picks it up in full court. They'll get it in. They'll kick it ahead more. He's got all kinds of daylight. Does he go airborne? He'll go finger roll right side. Good. Back-to-back -back buckets, Mason Moore, 31 to 10. It's a 20-point lead. Moore's got 17. Gibbs pitches it off. DeBorg. Webb dribble drive on the right side. High post. Now free throw line extended. Gibbs pulls the trigger way off the mark. Long rebound clings off the glass into the hands of Goodpaster. He brings it ahead, working from left to right. Stops up 21. Now gets in a hurry. Brings it off to Robert Todd. Todd pulls it from about 12. Too stiff off the back of the box into the hands of Austin Gibbs. Gibbs loses it off the far sideline, but right there is Dawson Mead to curl it in. Newsom left wing. Fakes right comes left from 12 off the window. Too stiff. No good. Poked out of bounds by Gibbs. It's staying with Rowan County. 6.48 to go. 
here in the third. My partner just handed me a Mountain Dew that's as hot as the air temperature in the top of LSD. Yeah, I feel this they one. break it again. Here's Alderman, works off the right side, got it. Did a little bit of adjustment, went to the left side to finish it. Timeout, Boyd County. It's a 6-0 run by the Vikings. Full timeout. We're back in 60 seconds on the school boy. My Town TV. This table, Rowan County opens the third quarter on a 6-0 run. And with the same pressure they've had the entire ball game, they lead this one 33-10. Out of the timeout, Boyd County with the basketball. Looks at that 2-2-1 zone press. DeBorg brings it front court. Working on Dylan Maxey, now off to Carson Webb, left side. He goes to the free throw line. DeBoard pulls the triple off the mark, right side, no good. Gibbs tracks it down to the baseline, right side. Webb looks it off, back to Gibbs. Gibbs goes up in front of Todd, pulls the baseline jumper, good. Austin Gibbs, he's got four. That leads Boyd County 33-12. to First points for the Lions here in the second half. Ahead, Alderman works it off to... That was Todd. They'll go back to Todd in the corner. Skip pass off to Good Pasture. Left elbow. Todd in the left corner next to his bench. Brings it off to Maxie on the right wing. Now Mason Moore wants it out near the midcourt stripe. Bounce pass to the right wing to Maxie. Looks at the high post Todd. They'll go to Moore left side. Three ball on the way to Stiff. Long clanging rebound. Chased down by Newsom. Newsom going right at Moore. Moore got a finger on the basketball. It's loose and coming away with it is Rowan County. Moore stays with Good Pasture, who now looks at a double team, fires it ahead. Now Rowan County with numbers. Todd's got it, and we're going the other way. Robert Todd called for the charge, his first team's first of the half. That's one of those where you just have to go straight up. Yeah, and he knows that. And there was no indication that he thought the official's call was wrong, and he just jumped back up and go to live to play the next play. And here's Mason Moore with a steal. Comes off the right side, pumps, puts it up, and one. There's no kryptonite in that kid's pockets tonight. Mason Moore having himself a ball game. 19 points of the 35 Rowan County has scored. DeBorg whistled for the foul. That's his second, team second of the half. And Mason Moore, the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for the three for the end one and a three-point play. He's got seven in the quarter, 20 in the game, and the lead's 24, the largest of the contest. Boyd County just been absolutely blitzed by this Vikings offensive pressure thus far. Here's Newsom, feeds it into Gibbs. Gibbs off the left side window, no. Todd goes skyward, plucks it from the air, gives it off to Mason Moore. Gibbs tries to work on him, Moore breaks the pressure. Brings it from the far side to the near. Takes it over the OVC logo, curls it out, Newsom all over him. He'll look it off to the left side. Here's Goodpaster, finger roll at the rims, good. Nathan Goodpaster. 38 to 12. Stoppage in play there after a couple players slipped. 4.42 to go in the third quarter, and it is all Rowan County. Here's DeBorg in traffic, shifts directions and draws contact, and he'll shoot two. That one's on Todd, his second, team second, and race DeBorg to the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for a pair. DeBorg, a 78.9% free throw shooter. Boyd County, two of four from the stripe tonight, make it three of five. Here comes three subs on for the Lions, J.B. Walters, Jason Ellis and Graydon McNeil. Cody Collins checking in for Rowan County, replacing Robert Todd. All those Stoltz Pharmacy substitutes. Second free throw off the mark, no good. The rebound picked up by Walter. Webb looks it off to DeBorg. DeBorg goes from the right to the left from the keyhole. Good. Strong take there by the junior. He's got five in the basketball game. 38 to 15, still a lot of work to do for the Lions. Yeah, need a lot more shots from DeBoard and the other four guys on the floor for Boyd County. Here's good pasture, back to Moore. Moore gets it ahead on the timeline to Maxie at a double team. And then Sean Thacker smelling a little blood in the walker. Water, he says, give me a 30 second timeout, coach. Well, the next time you visit Lexington for work, play, or some ball games, why not stay at the Homewood Suites Lexington Hamburg? Right off I 75 in the Hamburg Pavilion. 
The Salt Suites property, they offer amenities that cannot be beat. They've got a breakfast buffet if you want to work out. A very nice fitness facility. Do some laundry if you want to. A courtyard with a fire pit and a pool. They also have free dinner Monday through Thursday nights. All the suites, fully equipped kitchens. High-speed Wi-Fi. All kinds of room to to spread out and watch March Madness. The phone number for some reservations is 859-543-0464. LexingtonHamburg.com. On your internet, you can uh, do it that way as well. LexingtonHamburg.HomewoodSuites.com. Make your home away from home in Lexington. The Homewood Suites by Hilton at Hamburg Place. Coach C, how does Boyd County get back in this thing? Well, it's got to get some made baskets. That's the biggest thing that's hurt it so much. The Lions can't get back in that pressure because of of missed buckets because Rowan County's getting the pressure and getting up the floor. Out of the timeout, here's good pasture. Has it taken away? Walters with with the swipe. He'll stop in the keyhole and knock down the 17-footer. He jumps off the bench and knocks in one of those bench points for the Lions. 37 to 38 to 17, excuse me, 21-point lead. Maxi off to Moore, and they get a wide open man backside of Cody Collins. <laughs> Walter tries to knock it away. It's a goal 10, so count the bucket. And they were so caught up on the basketball near the midcourt stripe. Cody Collins was wide open, standing. There wasn't a player 25 feet from him. Here's DeBorg in a hurry. It's raked out of his hands, but in the corner, McNeil, three ball up, no good. Jason Ellis has the offensive rebound. Walter wants another one. He pulls that one. That one's way short. Cody Collins with the rebound in front of the restricted space. Gets it away. Good pastor. He got a man out in front. Throws it out to Dylan Maxey, and that was closer to the student section than anyone. That one was headed down the tunnel from the word go. Maxey off as well as good pastor. On is Justice and Gardner. Stoltz Pharmacy substitutes for Rowan County. And here comes Austin Compton on for Boyd County. He'll replace Carson Webb. 325 to go in the third, all Rowan County. Now leading this one 40 to 17. Seven points here in the quarter, the most Boyd County has amassed in any quarter thus far. DeBorg. No look pass backside. McNeil goes up and under for a nice bucket. Pretty pass inside the paint. A little kiss off the glass as well. 40 to 19. Justice ahead. Alderman left side. Brings it off to Gardner. Gardner goes past the pressure. Pulls up on the baseline. Shot is up no good. DeBorg skies for the rebound. Loses the handle on the pill. Picks it back up. Lost it. Throws it off the legs of Mason Moore. And then race DeBorg. Jumps out of bounds. The official pointed the wrong direction. He got it correct. Well, I'm pretty certain that he did. He's The official's saying we're going the other way, and the official turns and no, we're staying here. And I'm pretty certain they got that one correct. That's going to take us to our media timeout. 2.50 to play in the third. Rowan County 40. Boyd County 19. Back for more after this on the schoolboy. Mike. Back at the Pepsi broadcast table, 42-19. Rowan County leads Boyd County here with 2.50 to go in the third quarter. Out of the break, Boyd County with the basketball. High post, Ellis. Or check that, that's McNeil. Now to Walter. Walter pulls the long-range jumper. It's up no good. And then Moore just flips it out in front. Gardner runs and gets it, stops, lets the pressure close, puts up a shot. It won't fall, but he's going to the line for two. Boyd County now 0 of 10 from downtown Triple Town. Nice show of sportsmanship there by Race DeBoer going over and giving Gardner a nice pump on the backside. I said, my bad, man. He said, all good. Yep. You like to see him play like that. Yes, it was before you do. the shot went up, so it's Brown County basketball underneath. It's good that we're having basketball. Absolutely. Here's Moore, takes the inbound from the right side. Robert Todd checking in out of the timeout. Moore hounded by DeBoer and. Those two exchanging some pleasantries on the far sideline as well. Fouls on to Borg. That's his third. Team's third. Brown County basketball, far sideline. Here's a lob, backdoor justice, stop, centers up. Eight-footer, gets the friendly roll good. Jordan Justice, his first bucket tonight, 42-19. To Borg. Goes off the short corner. Back to McNeil. McNeil empties it into Ellis. Ellis feeds it off to DeBorg. Straight away three on the way. Too stiff. 
Ellis skies for the rebound. Left elbow. Stops right elbow. Back out now to Walter. Walter right of center. Off to Ellis. Ellis looks it off now into the corner to Compton. Feeds it in. That's Ellis. Splits the defense. Off the window. No. Robert Todd skies for the rebound. Todd brings it front court. Gives it off to Justice. Justice off to Moore. Moore's got a center lane to the basket. And he's fouled by at the free throw line before he can get a shot away. I think he was thinking a little airtime there on that one. That one's on J.B. Walter. That's his second, team's fifth. Minute 45 to go in the third. Here's Cody Collins back on for Todd. And DeBoard will check out. Back on will be Carson Webb, Stoltz Pharmacy Substitutes. Race DeBoard. Very dejected as he's walking off to the sideline. And before we get things back in our way, a 30-second timeout. Next time you go to Lexington, play workers and ball games, why not stay at the Homewood Suites Lexington Hamburg, conveniently located off I-75 in the Hamburg Pavilion. The Salt Suites property, they offer amenities that cannot be beat. They've got a nice breakfast buffet, fitness facility, a guest laundry, courtyard with a pool and a fire pit, and they have dinner Monday for you. It's a free dinner, if you will, Monday through Thursday nights. All of the suites, fully equipped kitchens, high-speed Wi-Fi, and plenty of space to spread out in. If you want to make a reservation, it's 859-543-0464. That's the number to do that. Or if you want to do it online, just go to LexingtonHamburg.HomewoodSuites.com, and that's where you can make your home away from home in Lexington. The Homewood Suites over at Hamburg Place by Hilton. 42-19, 145 to play in a third. It's been... Rowan County from the word go in this one. Well, 15 to 29 overall, 51.7%. The Lions, 8 to 33, 24%. And that's, that's your ball game right there. Here's Mason Moore, takes it in the backcourt. Walter chasing him back there, goes with him as he brings it front court. Off to Collins, left wing, closest to Sean Thacker. Here's Gardner. Boyd County to man to man. Collins Ooh. as McNeil goes down. Maybe got a little bump there from Collins. Justice with a basketball left wing. Feeds it off now to Gardner. Hounded there by Carson Webb. So we approach the one-minute mark and a whistle and a foul as that one's on Carson Webb. That's his second, team sixth. So the next foul on Boyd County will have Rowan County shooting free throws. We've got a minute and 11 to play in the third. Get comfy from the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line, Vikings. Here's Moore, blows past Walter, stops left side, pulls it up. We've got one minute to go here in the third. Moore resets it, works off a screen there from Alderman. Brings it off to Justice, right side. Justice dribbles in, skip pass, Collins, left wing. Wide open back door, gets it underneath, and a pump and a finish by Chase Alderman with a little kiss. 44-19. Little Kentucky Farmers bank shot action there. Here's Compton going to the rack. Puts up a shot off the window. No good, but he's fouled. He's going to shoot two. Compton, the transfer out of Raceland. He's kind of had to really find his role at Boyd County. We'll get the foul on Chase Alderman, his third. Team's third of the half. And Compton, an 85.7% free throw shooter at the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for a pair. Senior eyes and fires. First one is good. Here's good pastor back on for Alderman, a Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. Randy Anderson pacing the sideline, trying to figure out what happened in the first half. 27 to 10, they trailed at the half. And it was a 25 to 4 run at one point for Rowan County in the first half of play. Compton hits both, 44-21. Good pastor tied up, gets it away to Justice, looks at the double team, lost it off the foot of, I believe it's Compton on the far, no, check that, that's Walter on the far sideline. He'll stay with the Vikings. Sean Thacker in his 13th consecutive season, matches that with three other coaches, George Bellamy from Morgan, Jack Fultz from Olive Hill, and Joe Hampton, Mr. March from Lewis County. Here's Mason Moore. Draws contact, curls from the left to the right, goes to Justice. Left corner three, closest to his bench. No. Jason Ellis skies for the rebound. Pitches it ahead. Off to Graydon McNeil. Finger roll, good. Nice outlet pass and running in transition. Where the Lions there? Gardner 
Brings it off Justice this time right side. He's got Collins spotted up. He'll pull his own trigger there. It's up no good. And that takes us to the end of the third. 44-23 after three. Brown County in front. Fourth quarter coming up after this on the Schoolboy My Town TV Sports. Back at the Pepsi broadcast table, fourth and final stands underway. Rowan County controlling this one 44 to 23. Boyd County with the basketball working from right to left. Here's McNeil from the free throw line. It spins and connects his sixth point. All of those coming here in the second half. Nice shot. Boyd County tries to jump in that zone pressure. Here's Moore. Takes it from the near side. Feeds it off to Maxi. Maxi stops on the left block. Out top of the key. Right of point is Alderman. Take it off to good pasture. Mason Moore takes it. Carson Webb chases him there. Here comes the double team from Ellis and a whistle and a foul. That one's on Carson Webb, his third, team's seventh. So bonus the rest of the way for Rowan County as Mason Moore at the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for one of the bonus, seven of seven tonight with 20 points in the ball game at 13 in the first half. First one is up, front iron, it rolls in and out, no good. Rebound Boyd County as McNeil took it in the restricted space. We'll take it off far sideline. Here's nice move from Compton with a lump and under scoop shot. Compton has six. That's currently leading Boyd County. Here's Mason Moore starts to attack and a whistle. Let's see. Look at that one on Compton. That's his first. Team's eight. So Moore back to the line for one of the bonus again. Been there quite a while this evening, hasn't he? Seven of eight. That one connects. One more. That gives him 21 in the, ba in the basketball game. He had 19 in the win over Elliott County. Dropped in 19 in the win over Boyd when they played back on March 4th. That was a 45-43 win. Misses the second one. Swirls in and out. <clears throat> Rebound into the feet of Graydon McNeil. Brown County's defense is just stymied this Lewis County, or this, excuse me, Boy County offense. Here's Webb. Attacks right elbow. Stops. Reverses back to Walter. Long three on the way. Got it. Big shot by J.B. Walter. A Clark's pump and shot three ball. His first triple of the night. Leads down to 15. And good pasture had it and is fouled after nearly a loose ball turnover as Jason Ellis gets him on the bump. His first team's ninth. Mason Moore will step off. Cody Collins back on. A Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. And to the other line, shooting one of the bonus. Other side, excuse me, shooting one of the bonus. Nathan Goodpaster, 55.6% free throw shooter from the stripe. First one is up. Swirls in and out. No good. Ball raked away, chasing for it is both Boyd County's Austin Compton and Rowan County's Cody Collins. And they'll say that Collins touched it last. And they got a foul on well, Cody Collins on that last one as well. Yeah. That's his first team's fourth. Here's a three ball, Walter, nylon. And then a timeout requested by Sean Thacker. Well, yeah, Boyd County making a little bit of a run against the Vikings here in the fourth. 45-33, 6.15 to go in the ball game. Back after this on the schoolboy, My Town TV Sports Network. Back at the Pepsi broadcast table, 6.15 to go in this one. What was a 26-point lead is now down to 12, thanks to a 10-1 run by the Boyd County Lions. They trail this one 45-33. James Carter, Kit Robinson, happy to have you along with us here tonight. Final game of the boys' semifinals. Winner of this one gets Ashland 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Mason Moore back in out of the timeout. Here's good pastor, and Walter tries to rotate over and take the charge. Instead, he picks up his third Team's 10th, and double bonus the rest of the way for Rowan County. Nathan Goodpaster 
at the line for double bonus. Good pass to 0 for 1. Missed the front end of a bonus last time at the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line. Hits this one. One more. Good pass to with 9 in the ball game. And that answers a 6-0 run by Boyd County. Second one is pure as well. Give good pass to 10. Second player in double figures in this ball game. Both playing for Rowan County. They lead it by 14 as we approach the six-minute mark to go in the ballgame. There's a nice move underneath as Jason Ellis finishes with the finger roll off the window. Nice little take there on the spin move. Brown County answers the pressure. Good pastor had it raked out from behind. A Boyd County first forcing the turnover. Number seven in the basketball game. Fourth here in the half. Walter front court at the point, feeds it ahead. Ellis turns, spins, puts it up, good. Check that great, and McNeil knocks that one in. Lead cut to 10. 47-37, it was 26 at one point in the third. And now a triple team on Mason Moore, and a foul will shoot two at the other end. And Mason Moore, eight of 10 from the Bluegrass Credit Federal Union free throw line so far here in the ball game with 526 left. That's the fourth on Walter. So Moore back to the line for two more. 21 points in this one. Senior eyes and fires. Nothing but twine as it flies through. 9 of 11. 22 points. Leads out to 11. 14 to 4 margin in favor of Boyd County to get back in this one. But they dug themselves a mighty hole and a 30-second timeout requested after the second one flies through by Sean Thacker. Next time you want to go to Lexington for work play or look at or watch some ball games, rather, play your play on your stage, excuse me, at the Homewood Suites, Lexington Hamburg, conveniently located off I-75 in the Hamburg Pavilion. The Saw Suites property, they offer amenities that cannot be beat. They have a breakfast buffet, fitness facility, fire pit, and a pool, which is inside the courtyard, guest laundry. And a free dinner if you don't want to go out to eat Monday through Thursday nights. All the suites, fully equipped kitchens. They have high-speed Wi-Fi for reservations. Call 859-543-0464 for reservations. Or go to LexingtonHamburg.HomewoodSuites.com. And uh, very simple. When you're in Lexington, right off I-75, why not make your home away from home in Lexington? The Homewood Suites by Hilton at Hamburg Place. 49-37, Rowan County in front by 12. They led it by as many as 26. That was at the 444 mark of the third quarter. It was 38-12 at that point. Boyd County has outscored Rowan 25-11 since that point. A big stop right here on the offensive side first. They need points and then get back in that defensive pressure. Here's Walter. He's had a hot touch as late. He works to the left, takes it a little crossover move, fans it back out, feeds it out. Top of the key. Here's McNeil off the window. Left side, no. Long rebound claimed out in the keyhole by Goodpaster. Mason Moore calmly comes and gets it. He'll walk it toward the midcourt stripe. He'll launch it ahead off to Alderman. Alderman skip past Collins. Goodpaster thought about a three. Goes off to the left side now. Moore. Moore back off to Alderman. Underneath Todd. Todd off the window. Good. Robert Todd only his fourth point of this ball game. He's been... Stuck on the bench for quite some time, but he comes back in quickly. A long three off the mark, no good. Long rebound. Mason Moore claiming it out near the arc. They had good pasture out in transition. Couldn't get it to him. Now they got him. Wide open all the way on a nearly three-quarter court pass by Mason Moore. 53-37. Lead that quickly back to 16 on a 6-0 run by the Vikings. Walter. Brings it off now to Ellis. Ellis attacks, spins in the lane through the contact. Can't get it to fall, but he's going to shoot a pair. Clock resting, 4.06 to go. That's on Todd, his third. Now check that. That's Todd's fourth. My mistake on that one. Coach Randy Anderson getting ready to make some wholesale subs over there in front of the scorer's table. So at the free throw line is Jason Ellis for two. Race to board coming back on. Brad Newsom, Austin Gibbs, and Dawson Mead. 
And one more player still at the scores table if the second one goes home, but it won't. Rebound underneath by Alderman. Good pasture with the basketball. Looks at the double team. Tries to push it ahead. Now reverses it. Gets it ahead. Off to Todd. Todd comes right side. Stops. Brings it out into the corner to Alderman. Inside of four to go in the ballgame. Skip past Collins. Left side. Collins attacks. Goes to the rack. And a whistle and a foul. He got bumped. I believe that one's on to Borg. And that's to Borg's fifth. So Race DeBorg will foul out of this basketball game with five points. And he just never got things going tonight. And Cody Collins at the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for a pair. 53-38, free throw up good. One more for Collins, his third point of the evening. Brown County tonight, 78% from the charity stripe, 14 of 18. Second one doesn't stay home. Newsom will run the point. He'll bring it to the center of the floor. Now it goes into the keyhole. Right side, a little attack on Mason Moore. Tries to get the bump, and Moore just blocked it away. Cody Collins fighting for the rebound, and Mason Moore comes out of the pile with it. He's got a three on two. He'll go to the rack right side up. Won't get the roll. Alderman tries to tip it back in. It won't fall, and Cole Hicks comes away with it in a whistle and a foul. I believe that one's on Alderman. If so, that's his fourth. Ellis comes off. Back on is graded McNeil. Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. Stay with us after the game. Coach E and Dickie Tiller will break this one down. Set the scene for you for Saturday's championship game and get you ready for tomorrow night's girls semifinals. Boyd County and... Rowan County in the first game. Here's a three ball left side Meade. Too stiff, no good. Newsom tries to get there. Also Alderman, it's poked out of bounds. It's coming back to Rowan County. Second game will be Russell and Ashland. Those two teams split in the regular season. Both had tightly contested ball games last night. Russell had to get past Menifee County. Pulled away late. And then Ashland withstood the West Carter surge. Had a chance to tie in regulation and couldn't come up with a pass. Here's a nice take off the right side by Goodpasture. Can't get it to stay home. Boyd County with the basketball out in transition. Gibbs backs it up in the right corner. He'll bounce it out now to Hicks. Newsom left side inside of three to go in the ball game. Newsom starts to attack and lost it on the way to the rack. I'll take us to our final media timeout. 239 to go in the ball game. Rowan County 54. Boy County 38. Back for more after this on the Schoolboy My Town TV Sports Network broadcast table. Rowan County rolling in this one 54 38, 239 to go here in regulation. Boy County at nearly seven minute scoreless drought back in the first half after leading 4 2. And then Rowan County orchestrates a 25 4 run in the first half. Took a 27 10 lead to the locker room, and it's been all Viking since. Boyd County's had it as close as 10 in the half, but uh, a little 7-1 spurt by the Vikings, and they're comfortably back in front by 16. Here's Boyd County's Austin Gibbs goes to the rack. Shot is up no good. Mason Moore can't corral it back in. It goes out of bounds. It's staying with the Lions. Two good ones on tap tomorrow night. Boyd County, Rowan County. Russell Ashland, championship game Saturday at 6. Three ball from the corner, McNeil. Shot is up no good. Mason Moore has it. Here's a sprint toward the rack. He goes up on the right side. Finger roll, good, and one. Mason Moore. More of a 25 now in the basketball game. He's two rebounds away from a double-double. He's also got four dimes. And back to the... Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line for a chance at a three-point play. Brad Newsom steps off. Back on for Boyd County's J.B. Walter, a Stoltz Pharmacy substitute. Mason Moore eyes and fires. Front iron short. Dawson Meade takes it in the restricted space. Walter pushes it ahead. Off to Meade, left wing. Back to Walter. Walter recenters. Entry pass into Hicks. Here's 
McNeil out of the corner. And a three ball is off the mark, but a whistle and a foul. And that was on Mason Moore, his second. Now I'll check that they flashed Mason Moore. So they said Austin. Now they're going to get Austin Fannin. Big man checking in for a quick break, and then right back out he goes. <clears throat> and the free throw attempt by Boyd County's Dawson Meade is all for naught because of a lane violation by the Lions. So 56-38, 2.02 to go in the ballgame. Boyd County will go full court pressure. Mason Moore, far sideline, looks at the double team. Nathan Goodpaster stays with him. He'll take it, bring it front court, lobs it back door to Justice and threw it over top of his head. And that's saying a lot, throwing it over top of Justice, who's six foot four, long and lanky. And he tried to sky and bring it back in, just couldn't get it. Coach Thacker not happy with that long pass, even though he's up 56-38. He don't want to see them uh, kind of passes come uh, Saturday. Carson Webb back in, Estolts Pharmacy substitute, replacing Gibbs. Here's Hicks, left side three on the way, yes! Cole Hicks, a Clark's Pump and Shop three ball. 56-41. Collins. Off to the right side, good pasture. Skip past Collins, left wing, Mason Moore straight away. Long three ball from the college line, up no good. Rebound pulled out by Walter, he wants to race it ahead. Finger roll off the left side, off the glass, and good. A Kentucky Farmers bank shot. Timeout to Boyd County. 56-43, a minute 13 to go in the ball game. 56-43 as we welcome you back to LST Johnson Arena, the home of the 2021 OVC champ, Moorhead State Eagles. Got the bid to the NCAA tournament, came up short against West Virginia. But a good season for the Eagles. And, of course, your home for the Boys and Girls 16th Region Tournament. Robert Todd checking back in out of the timeout. Chase Alderman has it on a breakaway and then a foul from behind. He's going to shoot two. Minute nine to go here in the ball game. Dawson Meade whistled for the foul. That's his fourth. So for the first time in ten tries, Rowan County is going to get over the hump and knock off Boyd County in the semis. Alderman's first free throw from the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union free throw line. They've met in the semifinals in 82, 84, 92, 2016, 18, and 19. And now here in 2021, the Vikings are a minute away from a showdown with Ashland for the region title and trip to Rupp Arena next week. Three ball off the far side, no good. Mason Moore front court, drops it off underneath Robert Todd. Todd in traffic, gets it to stay home. Todd's sixth point of the ball game, 60 to 43. And Randy Anderson will do the changes for his subs and give his seniors one final chance to walk off the floor. Full timeout. We're going to stay right here as we look at how this has gone down and certainly a, I don't know, not a shocker by any means, but Certainly Rowan County, maybe that game against Elliott County was exactly what it needed to shake off the bugs, get out a little of the issues that you may run into here in, in Moorhead and be able to set things up for a showdown with Ashland in which they lost 68-66 in overtime over at Anderson Gymnasium. Well, and Coach Sean Thacker, in one of the interviews you did with him, you know, you, you talked about getting to this game and what he needed to do, and he says, I'm going to go watch the film again. He says, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to get to pizza and watch the film. He says, we got to work on some things. Well, whatever they worked on worked because it just held Boyd County to really just poor shooting in the first half. Boyd County made that run, cut it to 10, but then around County just advanced, and they're going to move on to play Saturday. Holbrook, Blevins, Stacy, Jackson, and Taylor, the Stoltz Pharmacy substitutes for Boyd County. Lucas, Perkins, Ingles, Tackett, and Blevins on for Rowan County. Here's Jackson in the lane, left side, up, got it. Jackson drops it in. 60 to 45. Rowan County front court, and Sean Thacker will use a timeout just for a quick substitute. 
as off will go Lucas. And we'll see who was the sub that came in for him. Either way, here's a loose ball turnover, and Stacy tries to run it on the far sideline, and it's knocked out of bounds. 13 seconds to go. Student section stood tall here tonight for the Vikings. First student section we've seen assemble here at LST. Tackett feeds it off, left side three. Blevins is off the mark, no good. Rebound Rowan County. And for the first time in 10 tries in the semis, the Vikings are headed to the championship. They'll have a shot at their seventh regional title Saturday afternoon at two o'clock when they meet up with the two-time defending region champ Ashland Tomcats here at LST. Rowan County moves its record to 15 and five on the season. Boyd County will finish at 15 and 10. So that sets up Saturday afternoon's championship game with Ashland and Rowan County with all the action right here starting at two o'clock on the Schoolboy Radio Network. Once again, for Jim Forrest and Kent Robinson, Glad to have you along, and uh, Round County wins tonight over Boyd County, 60-45. to The Lions uh, played better the second half, just too far down, and uh, couldn't get going against a really good Round County Viking team. Round County wins 60-45 tonight. The Vikings outscored Boyd 12-4 in period number one. You remember that? And then they outscored Boyd 15-6 in period two. Uh, Round County outscores Boyd in the third, 17-13. And Boyd County outscores Round County in the fourth, 22-16. And, and loses tonight uh, to Round County, 60-45. to The Vikings and the Tomcats for all the marbles to see who goes to Rupp Arena on Saturday at 2 p.m. We'll talk more about that a little later. Boyd County, 18 of 52 from the field for 34.6%. 3 of 20 from three-point land for 15%, and 6 of 10 uh, from the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union uh, free throw line for 60%. Uh, Round County was 20 for 40, 50% from the field any way you slice it. Only 4 of 13, though, from the three-point line uh, for 30.8%, and 16 of 22 from the Bluegrass Federal Credit Union uh, free throw line. Uh, Round County wins. Uh, 60 to 45 over the Boyd County Lions. We'll take a break, come back, and have more stats for you. This is the uh, Moe's Southwest Grill Game Changer, and it's right here on the Schoolboy My Town TV Sports Network. CBL.